We're gonna analyze PayPal as an investment, and we're gonna do it all in 90 seconds. These 90 second analyses are backed by popular demand. Thank you so much for all your support. For those of you still commenting about companies to briefly explore in one of these videos, as you can probably imagine, it became very difficult to keep track of all the requests and votes in the YouTube comment section. I think I got all of them on the list, but I apologize if I missed any. If you missed the announcement, to better facilitate the voting process on which companies to cover next, I set up a private Facebook group. Check the link in the description to be a part of that and cast your votes each week. If you enjoy these videos, I hope you'll subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave your valuable thoughts in the comments below. Enough of that, let's get to the reason why you're here analyzing PayPal in 90 seconds or less. Disclaimer, I'm obviously going to go fast, so adjust your playback speed now as necessary. Let's put up a clock and let's do this. PayPal Holdings Incorporated operates as a technology platform company that enables digital and mobile payments on behalf of consumers and merchants worldwide. As of this recording, PayPal has a market capitalization of $103 billion with a price per share of $87. Here are several reasons you might want to own PayPal. PayPal is the pack leader amongst mobile processors in the e-commerce segment. Merchants love its one-touch technology and one-touch converts 87.5% of online sales, almost double the industry average of 45.6%. Taking a look at the balance sheet, PayPal has more than $11.5 billion in cash and no long-term debt. PayPal recently sold its consumer credit receivable portfolio to Synchrony Financial, so PayPal still benefits from the growth of its customers using its credit product while transferring all the risk to Synchrony. Besides their core business, there's Venmo. According to Statista, Venmo processed $14 billion of net total payment volume, a staggering 78% year-over-year growth. More than 2 million retailers are now accepting Venmo as a payment method. On the other side, there are several reasons to not own PayPal. Amazon. Amazon is one of the biggest threats to fintech companies. Looking at Alibaba as the Amazon of China, Alipay boasts over 500 million active users compared to PayPal's 227 million. Amazon has the potential to replicate this business model. Facebook. Facebook is transitioning to e-commerce, already competing in India with purchases on WhatsApp. In addition, in Africa and Southeast Asia, large volumes of shopping occur over Facebook and Instagram. If Instagram decides to integrate payments with over 1 billion active users, that'll be some serious competition. And Venmo is now facing competition from Zelle, which has the potential to take over as the number one peer-to-peer -peer payment app in the United States. Zelle is projected to grow by 73% this year and overtake Venmo in monthly users with 27.4 million users compared to Venmo's 22.9 million users. So what do you say? Buy or no? Does PayPal have the stamina to outpace its competitors and keep its title as the pack leader in the mobile payments industry? Does PayPal have a big enough moat to insulate themselves from strong armed bullies like Amazon and Facebook should they decide to enter that space? I look forward to continuing this discussion in the comments below. And if you found this helpful and would like to see more of these 90 second analysis videos, don't forget to check out our private Facebook group, like this video, subscribe, and click the bell so that you can keep up with all the companies we cover as we continue to help you build your rapidly growing, highly diversified network. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.